Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. And please welcome back to my political episode for today. I'm just requesting you, just in case you're currently watching for the first time or maybe you haven't subscribed, to please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a like. Press the notification bell down below so that every time I upload a video here, YouTube will automatically update you by sending you the notifications. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers, to my supporters, I really want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much for your continued support. Basically, without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I don't take your entire support for granted. So if this one person that the Azimio leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, is completely scared of politically, is none other than President William Samuel Ruto. Reason being that Raila has come to realize that Ruto is unbowed. Ruto has never and will never submit to Raila Odinga's threats and demands. I know that majority of the Azimio no Moja Alliance supporters may not want to hear this, but this is the exact truth. And ladies and gentlemen, just for the avoidance of doubt, do you still remember when Raila Odinga used to threaten that he will lead a mass action to the state house or a march to the state house together with his Azimio supporters and officially kick out Ruto from state house as the president of the Republic of Kenya? Have you ever asked yourself what happened to those threats? Why did Raila Odinga give in to President William Ruto finally? So the main reason, the main agenda for the Saba Saba rally today at Kamukunji grounds, uh, which will be held by Right Honorable Raila Odinga, is all about the Finance Act 2023. Raila Odinga was defeated, was humiliated, and he lost it by opposing the Finance Bill 2023, and it was passed, and currently even though it is at the cost of law, because we are currently waiting for the final ruling, but the truth of the matter here is that Rilo Denga lost the, by opposing the Finance Act 2023. And Rilo Denga is threatening currently to overturn the Finance Act 2023 by demonstration, street protest, and endless rallies. So let us wait and see how things will unfold if Rilo Denga will achieve his political objective by doing so. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that you cannot overturn the Finance Act through the demonstrations and uh, the mass action, the street protest and rallies that Raila Odinga is currently doing. But Raila Odinga's greatest fear ahead of this Saba Saba rally at Kamukunji grounds is because of, first of all, President William Ruto's reaction. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto, I personally believe that he has a well-elaborated plan, a prepared strategy to counter Raila Odinga's rally today, uh, Saba Saba rally today, and the rest of rallies that Raila Odinga is planning to do. This is actually a secret card, because so far, Ruto has not yet commented on anything. He has not said anything in concern to this rally. Raila Odinga failed because he wanted mm -hmm. to threaten, you know, to provoke the government so that he can hear what William Ruto is actually planning. But the good thing is that Ruto never fell into Raila Odinga's uh, trap. Raila was threatening, he was provoking, you know, to issue these threats to the government so that they can react. But the internal security uh, CS Kidure Kindike has not even commented, he has not said even anything concerning this rally. So basically, uh, things will just go as usual. And Raila Odinga will conduct his rally for the sake of himself because I think but even William Ruto knows how to handle Raila Odinga by now. So these threats, these demands, does not even scare President William Ruto at all. So the greatest fear of Raila Odinga is how William Ruto will counter-attack his political moves by holding these demonstration rallies to overturn the Finance Act 2023. 
the second fear that Relo Denga is having currently because he is scared of William Ruto, just like I had said earlier on, is the police deployment. And that is why the majority of the Azimio Domoja Alliance supporters were raising these concerns that this, uh, this, this, this event will actually be peaceful. But if the police will be deployed, then they will cause chaos at this rally. So uh, Red Odinga's greatest fear is that if the police will be deployed, they will definitely block his rally and he cannot achieve his political objective through this rally. Red Odinga's greatest fear is that if the police will be deployed, he may not, uh, uh, the, his event may not go as it was planned. Remember that Relo Dinga always likes chaos. Uh, the, 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 that is why uh, the street protests are mainly conducted by him. Relo Dinga always uh, likes when uh, the people's properties are being destroyed. People's businesses are being closed. That is Relo Dinga's greatest happiness, his excitement, because he knows that he has captured the government. If people will close their businesses, if, if the chaos will erupt, then definitely the government is going to lose money. That is the main agenda of Raylo Dinga. So if the police will be deployed, Raylo Dinga may not be able to achieve his political objective. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, is the outcome of this rally, the main objective, the success of this rally. Reloading's greatest fear is this, because the main agenda here is to overturn the Finance Act 2023 proposed by William Ruto or signed by William Ruto. Will he be able to finally achieve this political objective? Will he, be, will he manage to outsmart and overturn the Finance Act 2023? That is the main question. But basically, let me say this, Reloading knows and he understands very well that if the Finance Act 2023 will sail through or will go through, it will be the beginning of success of President William Ruto's administration. And that is what Relo Dinga does not want. William Ruto to achieve, William Ruto to be successful in his government. Because if William Ruto will be successful, then he will definitely win the 2027 general elections. Because the politics of nowadays has already matured completely. And it is always gender-based politics, not about tribal, it's not about uh, all those, those issues, but it is mainly the gender-based, the, uh, the, 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 the agenda, the politics of agenda. Sorry, sorry, I mean the politics of agenda. It's not about tribal, not about all those as issues. And if William Ruto will not be able to achieve what he had promised the people of the Republic of Kenya in his five-year term, he will have a hard time in 2027. People will vote for him according to his scorecard. So Will Relo Dinga knows very well that if this Finance Act will be will go through, then William Ruto will be able to achieve his political agenda. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.